First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praises, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true Lord, because I the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the Father, Father, true Father, one West. This is Father Kings, called back at you yet, yet with another lesson. And this lesson tends to the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of the so-called African-American blacks, the so-called Latino and Native American Indian descent, and also our brothers and sisters that scatter abroad the other nations that even look like the other nations. Shalom and peace and blessings be unto you. Fallen kings, coming back at you yet or another lesson. Uh, we not stopping. We not stopping, you know. Uh, pray the most high to continue to keep us uh, in due diligence. And with that, I want to get right into the lesson. Um, this lesson is going to be the power of prayer. Um, the scriptures talks about the power of prayer. Um, one scripture come to mind is, um, I'm about to get in here in a second, where it talks about prayer, prayer without ce ceasing. Um, because the days are evil, man. We live in the last days, man. You know, um, this earth is under a wicked vibration i'm gonna say this man to be really honest with you the earth is really under a spell or you might be like that sound far-fetched but it's not far-fetched rather if you understand what i'm what i'm trying to say or the definition of what i'm trying to say all these pagan holidays pay homage to false gods and false and false religion which is um like is an enchantment like christmas all those are 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 wicked witchcraft and sorcery days when you read his history christmas um halloween is a gift is a given you everyone know that's the wicked a wicked witchcraft day but also christmas thanks still and all these other days symbolizes um a war a witch witchcraft and warlock type of spell um um day that's why when people celebrate it all wickedness happens around that day you know that's why we must pray the scripture talks about prayer let's get a scripture on this this is this is the book of First Theologians, chapter five, verse sixteen. First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, Salakia. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. In order for you to give thanks, you must be in the spirit of prayer, or or in the spirit of praise. You know, praise and prayer go hand in hand with each other. It says, rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of Yahweh and Christ concerning you. So this is the most high will that we pray. <laughs> That's why the scriptures say, pray without ceasing. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying. That's why I'm like coming with these videos. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Like don't be celebrating Christmas. Don't be celebrating New Year's. Don't be eating pork. Don't be eating lobster. You know, um, don't be um, supporting um, um, these pagan holidays and these pagan religions, okay? Let me get another priest up here. This is the book of um, book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6 through 8. It says, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto Yahweh and the peace of Yahweh, which passes over. All understanding should keep your hearts and mind through Yahweh Shah. So in order for you to keep your mind, which is your heart, you know, you must pray. That's what we just read. That's the will of the Most High. So the power of prayer is critical because we are living, you know, in careless times, you know. Uh, we at the end of this thing, you know, and uh, we under a wicked, like I say, this earth is currently under a spell. When you read Joel chapter 9, verse 24, you know, that's one verse coming to mind, you know. So let's get another pre -sell. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. Redeeming the times because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Like we just read one, uh, we just read part of the will when you pray. We just read that um, in a couple of chapters before by praying, you know, wherefore you be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is and be not drunk with the wine where it's excess, 
but be filled with the spirit. So don't be don't be caught up in this world. Don't be caught up in these pagan holidays. Don't be caught up in New Year's. Don't be caught up in Christmas. Don't be caught up in these the way of the world, you know? But we're in an excess, excess, but be filled with the spirit, you know? And, and, and that's come with, of course, we're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Because the scripture says the law is spiritual, you know?